Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back and let's do another Taylor Swift drawing and hopefully it'll look like her, if not, hopefully it'll just be a pretty face. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so to draw this face, um, I'm going to do like a little slant right here just to show me the overall slant of her, uh, her face, kind of goes up a little bit. So I'm kind of rusty right now, I haven't been drawing this for, I haven't sketched for a while as you can see from my channel. So here's one of our eye, right? And then we're gonna skip, let's see, it looks like the distance of one eye. And then we're gonna do her other eye. So this is just kind of, again, it's kind of roughing in, right? All right, so once we have this, we can go in and just kind of do a little bit of detailing here just to, especially the little eyelids and things like that. And here's the, Okay, so that'll, that'll give kind of like a general direction, you know, where she's looking at. So, all right, let's go down to her nose. So I'm gonna come straight down and it looks like the tip of her nose kind of reaches to the middle, because if I do like a vertical line from her eye, it's gonna hit the, the side of her nose right here. So it's gonna be somewhere right here. I'm gonna check the angle. So if you go from, uh, let's say, the corner of the eye, just kind of, just kind of envision that on your reference. So it's kind of like this. And if I come straight down, it's almost like right around here. So that's gonna give me the distance right here, probably somewhere right here. And yeah, it might be a little bit off. Oh, let's just go with it. Okay, and I don't want to, you know, get bogged down too much by the lightness. Uh, let's come up here, maybe fill up some of her hair. So, just kind of blocking it in. All right. So we can actually do, yeah, we can do the side of her face. So here's the eyebrow. Okay. See, so it comes out here cheeks right here and now we can do her mouth corner of her lip uh, we go straight down vertically it's almost like right around here so we'll do that vertically right around her eye come straight down that's our other corner of her lip and we can actually measure like angles like here and here just to give ourselves a little bit more reference point Yeah, you know, it's like, I want to sketch, but sometimes I get, get bogged down by all these lightness. And that kind of kills it a little bit, you know, when you're trying to draw accurately and... You, so, it's really, I just want to sketch a face. So let's just go for it, you know, I don't, I don't want to like, spend too much time on trying to get accuracy. It looks like it's a little bit off, so here's a chin. Alright. Starting to look a little butch. Yeah. All right, let's let's just start shading because um, you know, or else it's gonna get pretty boring. We just keep measuring. All right. So I'm using a two B here, so kind of in the middle of the road, not too light, not too dark. Really good for sketching, so that you can shade a little bit as well. Trying to leave some, some highlight on her eye so that you don't, you don't have to erase it back out. Okay, right here. When you draw on the lid, um, don't hit it too hard, you know, just kind of do a little bit and try to do the rest with shading. Because what happens is uh, you make it a little bit too hard and it looks very artificial, it looks like line work. It becomes more an illustration. Okay, so this is dark, dark, dark. A little bit of dark underneath. Darker here. Darker here in the corner. In here with the eyeball. Right on the corner of her eye. Okay. So 
So let's move on to the other side. Here, here. Here's the other one, eyeball. I tend to like to do the lashes first, um, just because it's the darkest part. So it kind of loosens me up a little bit, you know, it's like kind of hit it hard and then go a little bit lighter, kind of works your, it kind of relaxes you a little bit, you know, because if, if you start out too light and you know, it's just gonna take you a long time. Again, trying to save for the highlights. Lid. This is dark here. Um, be careful of this line right here. Uh, try not to go too dark at the beginning. Just kind of shade it first. Again, we don't want to turn into an illustration. Okay. So this comes out a little bit more. So eyebrow. Here's the side of her face. And this is dark here, so I'm just gonna shade it a little bit, not too much, right? Because we don't know what's going on yet. Since I'm still kind of shading here, so let's, let's get back here to the nose. Her nose, uh, if you look right here, is a highlight. You can actually just draw like that if you want, and you just kind of shade around it. And it's very subtle. Okay, so this part is very subtle right there. And then here's this part is darker. And be careful with this, don't go too dark at the beginning and sometimes <laughs> it's one of the mistakes I always make where it's like you just start drawing a line right there and then all of a sudden it turns into an illustration. Okay, so nostrils, here you can hit a little bit harder, right? It's going to hit that a little bit and now, now shade it in. And it's very complex right here actually because it's a lot of reflective light. So try to pay close attention to it and I know my pencil is getting a very dull you know because I don't, generally don't like to sharpen these things anyways these mechanical pencil so it's okay all right so let's start with that and then her lip I made her lip a little bit too wide that's why it's a little bit butch so I'm gonna adjust for that right now or it's too late. All right. And her lips gonna be red, so it's gonna, actually gonna be pretty dark. That's why I'm actually outlining it pretty hard, since it's gonna be all, you know, mostly black anyways. Well, mostly. So let's give it, uh, let's give it here. This side is much darker, so I'm just gonna hit that. Okay. Leave the mouth alone for now. I mean, the uh, her teeth. I don't want to make it look like she has black teeth. Here, the highlights. I'm gonna try to save for it. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, just a little bit dark. Underneath right here is dark, dark, dark right here, dark right here. So I'm just kind of seeing things in patches, right? Dark. Dark, dark. Now I'm gonna refine this area a little bit. This is darker. The shadow is always darker in the face. Okay, so now we're gonna go a little bit darker here. This is dark. Cheeks. Let's see. Okay, this right here is dark. It's a little bit white right here. Cause that's a little pouch right corner of the mouth is kind of like right here right this is lighter this is dark this is lighter so you just kind of have to pay attention to the form and I, I'll exaggerate a little bit like right here I'll make this a little bit darker just so that you can see there's a little bit of white right there that's important because if, if you don't get these shapes in these kind of shadings in um, your face is gonna look a little flat Okay, so all right, let's move on. I don't want to spend too much time in one area. So let's see your chin again. Not too hard um, because the chin right here is dark. It's because you know her neck is dark, right? Everything's under in, in the shade. So just do enough, kind of like an outline, and then let's. And now we can go in. Just shade that. Just keep that a little bit. 
that'll pop it right back out. All right, so let's go. All right, let's, let's work on this out a little bit. Um, so it looks like I need some more ten detail on the hair. All right, so now for the hair part, so I'm just gonna do some strokes. Okay, this is dark right here, and it's gonna come out. This whole section comes out, comes in. So that's why this is dark right here, All right? So this is light, dark, because it's coming curving in, and it's gonna curve back out. So it's gonna be lighter. So I'm just trying to read, you know, some of the what the hair is doing. Okay. So that let's see here. It's a little bit messy. This part it's a little bit messy. So I'm just gonna give it some strokes here, here. Okay, hair. Let's see. Sorry, I gotta make sure everything's in frame. All right, so with this big strand over here, all right across from her face, and this part is a little bit darker. Okay, so I'm just gonna do some lines. And really inside, uh, like right here, her forehead is actually darker than the hair. So I'm gonna make her forehead a little bit darker. Hair right here. Now the shade in this little, this will define her face. Hair coming in to her lip. So strand right here. So I'm, I'm kind of rushing through it. Uh, you know, here are. They look very nice when it's fully rendered, but I just don't have the patience for it right now. Getting lazy. All right. Oops, sorry. So there's a hair coming in, in, in. Down back to your neck. This part is right here is really dark. It's probably a little bit sharper too. Underneath the chin, a little bit darker here. This part's a little bit darker. I shade that in, in. This part's a little bit darker. I. Yeah, jeez. All right, now I'm looking at it, <laughs> the camera, and it doesn't really look like her, does it? So we can salvage it and make it into a pretty face. Tempted to use a different pencil just to make it darker, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with this. So I don't think I want to finish this drawing to too much detail. It's like a warm-up sketch for me since I've been drawing for so long. All right, so here, neck, darker. Just gonna hit that neckline. All right, this is dark here, here. All right, let's move back up to the face. Let's refine some of this stuff. All right, so now I'm turning my pencil to get a little bit sharper edge. So I can hit that, get that really dark. Maybe that'll make it look prettier. And this side of the face needs a lot more shading. And all these are kind of like the glamour type, so everything's kind of blown up. But still, you know, if you look at it closely, it's a lot of little details right here. It's gonna help with the portrait. So even just like little shadings in there really helps, right? Just brings out the face a little bit more. This is dark, underneath here is dark, dark. Hair. Yeah, that eye is looking a little bit better. 
Okay, right here is darker. So I'm seeing more. This part's a little bit darker right here. So I'm really light. Yeah, that's a little bit harder. <laughs> that's what happens. I mean, if I, if I want to be really careful, I'll switch to like an HB or B, you know. It's okay. So now I'm hitting this a little bit harder. And I'm going to do a little bit of cross hatching, not too much. Just kind of want to keep it a little bit cleaner. All right back to your lip. Let's hit that a little bit harder. And our teeth, let's just do a little line like that. Yeah, that looks like Bugs Bunny right now. So I'll make it a little bit darker. Because if it's too white, it's weird, right? Because it's in the, in the shade. Maybe your lip needs to be bigger. Let's clean up this lip line. It still looks like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so it's like one of those things, right? Like, how do I correct that? You know, that's how it goes. I mean, I can erase it. Let's just keep going. All right, well, let's, we'll do a little bit more here. Let's push this hair a little bit out so that it doesn't look like a dude. Shade, shade, dark, dark. So now I can be a little bit braver, right? Because some of the stuff is shaded in already. So I know where things are. And now I can actually go in a little bit harder. Dark. Dark. Okay. Yeah, I think her eyes are a lot bigger. Sorry, that was a pretty obvious mistake. And yeah, usually, you know, when you're drawing portraits, um, make her eyes bigger. <laughs> you know, even if it isn't that big, it just looks a lot better. It's a lot prettier. Should have known better, but it's okay. Hopefully we can correct that on our next drawing. Okay, darker here. Now let's do a little bit harder here. Harder here. Corner. I'm just touching up stuff. Hopefully, see what works, you know. Like sometimes you can't see all your mistakes and you're like trying to find out geez what is it that's messing messing your drawing up hair yeah I'm just I'm just gonna simplify it uh, let's go this kind of stuff very simple And sorry, out of frame, darker here, comes over, this part's darker, okay, darker here, let's go here. So, overall, there's a highlight right here, okay, here's the top of her head, so. This part is going to be all dark. It's going to come out right around here. 
and I'm reaching to the edge of my paper so I can't go too far. But right here is dark. Dark. It's just too simplified. This is dark here. Dark here. And now we can put in a little bit of detail on the strands. This is coming through. Okay. So very s let's make this darker here. Give it more of a slightly more definition. Dark, 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 even darker, darker. Just trying to hit some spots to balance everything out. Dark. Work. Let's make the eyes a little bit darker. Let's clean that up a little bit. Alright, so I think I'm coming to an end. I think this is probably good enough for a pretty face drawing, right? Somewhat. Not necessarily Taylor Swift, but it's okay. Good exercise. All right, so yeah, you know, I might finish up more later, but you know, when I walk away, I'll come back and look at it. Maybe I'll see something that's obviously a mistake or needs improvement. But overall, I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna walk away and see if I can improve this. If not, then this will be it. So thanks for watching you guys. Um, yeah, hopefully I can do more of these kind of drawings uh, soon because I really do miss drawing. All right, so thanks for watching and uh, hope you guys like this, wherever it is. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.